We're back once again with State Representative Mike D'Agostino talking a lot about a marijuana program here in Connecticut. Um, do you think in the next five years we're going to see maybe half of the states with a marijuana program, especially considering the way the federal government is kind of saying, you guys go right ahead? I'll, I'll go even further. I actually think there's a 50-50 chance, maybe better, that it is legal on the federal level. In you five you years. think that they, they, they decriminalize this I, I think, full scale? I think we are really moving to that at breakneck speed. I do. I, that's that's a sort of a bold prediction. Is it, but is it cultural? Is it the criminal justice piece? Is it that this is a substance that is just different and it's been treated differently for so uh, long? It is all of the above, absolutely. It is. The, you, this, this polls at near 70% when you talk to people across any d different yeah. states. Uh, it's a, there's a, been a generational change. There's the revenue piece of it, there's the social justice. I think people people realize, first of all, not not only is there is there revenue being made, but there's this incredible cost to the drug war, a sure, cost in, right. in incarceration, in people coming out not being able to find jobs, uh, and, and there's there's frankly not only a moral argument but an economic argument that that are that are. Uh, combining there and yeah. dovetailing. So that's why I think you're really going to start seeing that uh, even on uh, the federal level. Um, do you think that? marijuana is more a part of the budget picture right now, or do you think it's more a part of the criminal justice change picture, the way the state Great question. handles certain... Uh, the latter right now. I don't think any of us are counting on cannabis revenue to uh, significantly juice the budget. It, that would be a plus, but this is more, I think what's really motivating this more on the legislative side is the, the, the liberty, the social justice issues, criminal justice issues, et cetera. Uh, let me ask you the question this way, and I asked it yeah. of, of our other guest, Senator Eric Berthel. The governor's proposed a lot of broadening of the sales tax. Sure. Some big changes, yep. which are, in a lot of ways, it's kind of nickel and diming here and there. But if you get more revenue from marijuana, you get more revenue sure. from sports betting, yeah. you don't have to talk about that other sales tax stuff, right? Uh, no, not necessarily. I think, I think you do have to have that conversation. At least this is my, my yeah. view. Because, frankly, some of those exceptions that the governor wants to eliminate, I think should be eliminated. I mean, sure. uh, you know, taxes on, I'm a, I'm a lawyer, on, yeah. on, on legal, on legal fees, fees. You sure. know, I think for, for some... Uh, You're cool type, with having money taken out of your pocket in your private practice? Well, unfortunately, it probably comes out of my clients' pockets. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, um, as long as we take care of people for, who need indigent services for legal services, I, I think, you know, corporate law, et cetera, that stuff should yeah. be taxed. Accounting services, et cetera. I mean, there's, a, there's just this slew of exceptions in the law that are born of special interest groups that really yeah. shouldn't exist anymore. Whoever is the better lobbyist gets a good break. Yeah, and, it really, <laughs> and should it really be that right. way? Right. So I, I, would, I would throw it all into the, into the pot, no pun intended. I would, I would want the... <laughs> The cannabis revenue. I think we made it four yeah. minutes here minutes without <laughs> right. a pot joke. You're lucky uh, I said that this bill isn't fully baked yet. Um, oh, that, you yeah, said right. that, not me. <laughs> right. State Representative Mike Thanks, D'Agostino, right. thank you very much. Uh, Face of Facts with Max Reese every Sunday at 10 a.m. on NBC Connecticut. Thanks for checking out Face the Facts with Max Reese on YouTube. If you want more politics in your feed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified whenever there's a new video.